Hello students, the question is, in our society, the women are often blamed for giving birth to the daughters. Can you explain why this is not correct? The answer will be because, as we know, that in human beings, there are 23 pairs of chromosomes. Out of these 23 pairs of chromosomes, in every cell, 22 pairs are the autosomes. And the last pair is of 6 chromosomes. Okay? 22 pairs are autosomes. And the last 23rd pair is of 6 chromosomes. In males, the sex chromosome is of XY type. But in females, the sex chromosome are of XX type. Now what happens students is that the gender of the child is determined at the stage of fertilization. When zygote ki formation hoti hai, us samay par bache ka gender decide hota hai. Now, in the males, when the gametogenesis takes place, that means, jab males ke andar spermatogenesis hogi or sperm ki formation hogi, then the sperms will be of two types. The 50% probability of the sperm will be of having the X sex chromosome and the rest 50% of sperms will contain Y sex chromosome. So, we can see that males are heterogametic hai. because in ke andar, two different types of gametes ki formation ho rahi hai. But, in the females, as female only has XX sex chromosome, so all the ovums, all the eggs produced in the female will only be of X type. Right? So, at the time of fertilization, if the sperm, which is the male gamete, contains X sex chromosome, fertilizes with the ovum with X sex chromosome, there will be production of the zygote and that zygote will be a female, right? Because it will contain XX type of sex chromosome, right? Lekin, jab sperm, jiske paas Y6 chromosome hai, fertilize karega with the egg. Hame pata hai, that egg ke paas only X6 chromosome hoga. So, the production of zygote will contain XY6 chromosome. And the child will be a male. Right? So, we have concluded that the genetic makeup of the sperm of the father is responsible for the gender of the child, not the mother. Right? I hope you have understood. Thank you.